growing giants. Rolling in some of the largest pumpkins not only in the region, but from across the state, dragging them off trucks and into the competition. Oh yeah, they're so big that a lot of them won't even fit in a pickup truck anymore. Seeing quite a few things in his time here, Ron Root is judging this year. He's governed by and enforcing the rules of, wait for it, the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth. That's a thing? That's a thing. That's We're cool. Big club worldwide, and we have rules, you know, rule book. But it's not just pumpkins. According to the sign, it's also small produce, like sunflowers, specifically this one that's triple the size of my head, and other things like Jonathan Kroll's enormous watermelon. That watermelon's got to be over 200 pounds, so that'll be a new state record. His pumpkin, though, too, is nothing to scoff at. This, I think this one maxed out at around like 35 pounds a day, so nothing too impressive. That's a that's a that's that's a kindergartner a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. That's my daughter each day. <laughs> a growing tradition that instills lessons for all ages. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot of work. You gotta got to very intended a lot. There's a whole lot you've got to learn about it. They offered free pumpkin seeds in the Auburn Journal mm -hmm. and that was it. And that, that's how it is. Yeah, yeah. A little hotter than normal this October day, but let's see. The competition might just match the sizzle. In Elk Grove, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. And the festival runs again tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in Elk Grove Park. Admission is free. Parking, though, is $10, and they only take cash.